I've been told many times that certain art won't sell or certain communities won't come to see the theater and it's always been debunked. It's about the art. I feel a responsibility now that I'm in the position I'm in to live by what I know is true. If you don't create content for different communities, how do you get them to come to the theater? My parents came to Vancouver. It's where they raised me until I was 15. My great-great-grandfather was the emperor of Ethiopia, Emperor Haile Selassie. My father came from Ethiopia to study when he was 15. I kind of had those two worlds where I'd be very immersed in this Ethiopian community. And then my Canadian community in Vancouver where I was one of three people of color. So I was kind of always translating. That's definitely at the core of my inspiration to, to tell stories and to be a theater maker. Theater is that great connector. Different communities tell each other their secrets in the dark. It's public, intimate space and if we already knew what theater was going to give us it wouldn't be as transformative we have to leave room for the unexpected I feel so lucky that I had the chance to direct shows like The Kink in My Hair written by Trey Anthony and Kim's Convenience written by Ince Choi they were very personal stories about how they grew up in Canada we have to listen to the audience know what they want but also we have to create the next thing they didn't know they wanted it's a real privilege to be able to be in the position I am now to do the things that I've been advocating for which is giving more space to more artists Soul Pepper Theatre has been around for 20 years, founded by artists and still artist-led. Soul Pepper has created an academy, and I was the first director in that program. It's a two-year free program, and it was built for the company's sustainability, for the future leaders. I didn't grow up thinking theatre was going to be the thing for me. I had some trouble when I, was in, when I was in high school, and it was definitely because of mentors. I kind of figured out what my path was going to be. I see these young people that I work with now, and I just know it's just a question of choices, and, and some presenting options, um, which somebody did for me. I went in as an actor to university in my first year. I realized that I quickly that I wanted to direct, I wanted to write stories, and I met a mentor, Janet Sears, and she saw that I was writing a play and invited me to assistant direct her on her first show called Adventures of a Black Girl in Search of God. And she sort of just exploded what was possible to me with uh, a cast of 30 and uh, an African chorus. I was very lucky in that I, I entered into the world thinking, this is how the world works. You have an idea and you go for a large scale per project and it happens. I just happen to be mentored by a brilliant artist. And I know that for me, it's very important that I play my part in nurturing the next generation. Nobody has your unique story. You have something very powerful. And if you want to tell it, write it because there is a place for it. My name is Wayne Mangesha, and this is my brief but spectacular take on developing the next generation of storytellers. Mm -hmm.